Kind of looks like some alien with very small eyes, but anyway, here's an ellipse. Here's an ellipse, and here these are the fourth side of the ellipse. And um, I think in this little little video, I want to tell you about the reflective properties property of an ellipse. And there's a lot more to say about ellipses when we get to uh, Kepler's laws, but I'm saving that discussion because we also need to know about the hyperbola <laughs> with Kepler's laws. Okay, so uh, basically this is it. If you had a pool table in the shape of uh, an ellipse, and well, I'd love to be able to build one, I just don't have that kind of skill, but uh, if you had a pool table that you constructed uh, with the shape of an ellipse, if you put a ball at one fo foci and a ball at the other foci, no matter how, where, how you aimed, as long as you hit it hard enough, it would bounce. If you hit this ball, it would bounce off somewhere into the other foci. You can even bounce, aim backwards, and it'll still hit that ball. So no matter where you are, the, the ball goes from one foci to the other. All right, well, it also works that way with sound. If you're in a room that's elliptical, then the, um, the sound waves work that way. And, and there, there are some examples of them out there. The United States Capitol building has a, a whispering gallery. So if you've heard that term, whispering gallery, in the U.S. Capitol building, and uh, I should have looked it up. I've been there. I've been there. It's in the basement, I believe, if I remember right, where the Senate used to meet back in the 1800s. Anyway, it, the, the room is elliptically shape, uh, shaped, and uh, so if you stand here and someone stands there, you can talk to each other. You can talk to each other because all the sound waves will bounce off the walls from one foci to the other. So you can literally whisper it to each other across the room, it may be 50 feet or so, I don't know uh, how, how far that is, but you could do that. There's a famous story from the uh, oh, mid-1800s where two, uh, the two big competing uh, senators, one Democrat, one Republican, one of them spied on the other. He was like standing here talking to his buddies about some uh, important legislation, and, and the, uh, the opposing party guy was standing here listening in on it. And um, they, they had forgotten where they were standing, and this guy was very quiet, so he, he heard everything. And uh, that was, was kind of interesting. I think um, uh, Union Terminal in Cincinnati is supposed to have a whispering gallery effect there. I, I haven't found it. I need to ask next time I'm in there. I'm in there, so apparently it, it is. Um, and, and there's probably a, a number of others around the country, or, or throughout the world for that matter. Um, the the room itself, the walls would need to be elliptical, and or the ceiling, I think this would work. If the ceiling was a ellipsoid, ellipsoid, half of an ellipsoid. So if you take an ellipse and spin it, rotate it, it creates uh, some kind of uh, ball, kind of like a rugby football. You know, it wouldn't have pointed ends. And uh, so you would have a uh, ellipsoid if you spin one of these. And if you took the top part of it and created a ceiling in that shape, I think the whispering gallery effect would work there as well. So I haven't verified that, but it seems like it should. Uh, I, I don't know. It's an interesting thought. I have not pursued that. <laughs> okay. So that's, uh, that's kind of it. You can also, of course, uh, probably mention this earlier, but you can draw an ellipse. If you uh, put two thumbtacks down or two nails and a loose string, you can, you can draw an ellipse. And... Uh, that's kind of neat. If of the, the circles, of course, you can draw with a compass. Ellipses you can draw by taking advantage of the sum of distances is constant and place the string, tie the strings to the foci. Uh, so we can draw ellipses very well. I, I don't know a way to draw a parabola or a hyperbola. <laughs> okay, by by using some kind of construction means there. So that's a. Uh, I don't know if there is a way. I've, I've never looked into it, but I, I tend to think probably not. Okay, so um, interesting uh, reflective properties, ellipses. I think even far more interesting is the uh, Kepler's laws of orbital mechanics. So I'll explain that in a video at the end of our conic sections.